Hello everyone and welcome back with Learning with Jelly. So today we're on our 10th lesson for SAS for Beginners. So I'm so excited that we've gotten all the way to lesson 10. And today we're gonna to talk about SAS format. So how do we format the appearance of variables in our SAS data sets? If this is your first time joining me, please hit the subscribe button. Also, look at my first video that takes you through how to set up SAS on demand for academics, because that is the interface that we use in order to practice all of our SAS coding. So let's get started. So why format? Because you can change the appearance of data values that best suits you and you can bin already existing variables. So I put an example down here. Do I want my date to appear on, like it is on the left with 01 slash 04 slash 2019? Or do I want it to appear as in JAN 04 2019? It all depends on what you're trying to do, your business rules, things of that nature. So you can change the appearance of how the variables look in the data set by using formats. Also, we're going to get into how we can utilize formats to bin existing variables. So the first example of formats is going to be the format statement. And we're going to see an example of the format statement in a data step. In a data step, the format statement, as you can see in my example down here, usually comes before the set statement. So right here, I have an example that on the left, my date looks like Jan 49. That's what it was previously. And then after I ran this format statement of month, month, day, day, year, year 10, and don't forget the dot or the period after formats, your format should turn a green color in SAS. That lets you know that it actually recognizes that as a format. It turns it into 01 slash 01 slash 1949. Okay, you also have access to this data set so you can try this out in SAS Studio yourself. But why it is month, month, day, day, year, year 10 is because that's what best suits me. I want to change the appearance of this variable that's already existing to appear with 10 characters, right? Zero, 01 is 2, the slash is 3, another zero, 01 slash 1949. So that's 10 in total. So you can do this to change the appearance. You will use the format statements in both data and proc steps. If it's used in a data step, once you format it and you call this airline underscore format data set again, it will permanently change to for that SAS session. Okay. Uh, for proc steps, it is temporary changes. Okay. So it's just going to temporary change the format for the output. All right, so let's see that example in SAS Studio. So let's go on to SAS Studio. So this sashelp.airline, if you choose libraries on the left-hand side of your screen and expand libraries, you should be able to get this airline data set. And if I double click on this airline data set, I see that this is my date column. If I would like to change the format of that date column, I call the name of the column, which is date, and the format I want to change it to. And then I store it in a new data set called airline underscore format. So when I run this, now I see that I have formatted my date to change the appearance. And if I were to reopen up this data set, it is stored in my work library. I double click on it and I see that that was a permanent change that I made to the data set. So if it's your formats are used in your data set, it will be a permanent change. If you want to store this data set into a library, so each session, you can refer back to this change data set, you're going to have to assign a library. And if you want to know how to assign libraries, I go over that in a previous tutorial, and I have the link down in the description below. So that's one way that we can change appearance of variables by using the format statement in a data step. Let's also talk briefly about this put statement. And we're gonna see an example of this more, but put statements are only used in data steps and they can change an existing variables format, including changing its variable type. So for instance, I can change a numeric variable to a character variable 
and vice versa, okay? So the syntax is that you're gonna call this put function, you're gonna put the old variable name, and you're gonna put the format that you want it to be in. So in this example below, I'm creating a new variable called new underscore air, and I'm setting that equal to put. I'm calling the existing variables name that's already in the data set, which is air, and I wanna format that to be a character. So let's look at this in SAS Studio, okay? So once again, let's look at how this airline data set looks. So I see that air is a numeric variable. I know that it's a numeric variable because it's right indented. So keep in mind, if it's character, not only will it show over here in this columns, but it'll also be left indented. Characters are indented to the left, numerics are indented to the right. So say for instance, I wanna change this to a character variable. I'm going to assign it to a new variable and I'm going to do put air and then the character is a character variable with a length of four characters. And when I run it, I see that new air here is a character variable, it's indented to the left and it's called new air. And I can go back and drop air if I wanted to. So that's just a brief introduction to the put statement on how to also format variables and also how to change variable types. If you need something to be character, if you need something to be numeric, et cetera. Okay, so, the meat of this is gonna be using proc format. So you can assign multiple formats in what we call a procedure step. Okay, so this is a custom format. You can store this format temporarily or you can assign it a libref and a store it permanently. So every time when you load in a library, it has all of your formats already stored. So if you're working for a company and there are specific formats that you use over and over and over again, you might wanna store those formats permanently. And I'm gonna link the documentation on how you can assign formats to a permanent library below. But we're just gonna see an example of just a temporary format that we're using within one single SAS session. The name of the format. So this is the syntax of the format taken from the little SAS book, the sixth edition. And we see that, there, that you have to name each one of these formats. So if it is a character, this name must start with a dollar sign and not be longer than 32 characters. For any format, whether it's character or numeric, it cannot start or end with a number and it cannot contain no special characters. So let's actually see an example of this on the next slide. So on this slide, I have two formats that I put in one format statement. So I have the proc format down here and the first one is a character format. So I'm calling it dollar sign gender because if it is a character format, then I need to put a dollar sign to it. And I'm changing M in a data set to be male and I'm changing F to be female. And then I have a numeric format. It has no dollar sign and it has numbers on the left. That's how I know it's a numeric format. And I'm saying the ages 11 through 13 is considered youth teen and the ages 14 through 16 is considered mid-teen. And then I'm calling this format in a proc print. So I'm going to look at the data set where I can apply these formats to. And in a format line, I'm just saying, hey, the age variable in that data set formatted as age group, which was stored above in my SAS session, and format sex as the gender format, which was also stored above. So let's see that. So let me just delete these examples up here. All right, so this is my format. So I have the gender and I'm trying to change the M to male. So let's open up the data set that I'm trying to format. You also have access to this data set. Just go down to SAS help and we're gonna double click on class. So I wanna change this sex to be male and female and I wanna bend this age. So remember we talked about binning. So binning age into age groups is a common format that people put out. If you want to bend certain states into regions, you also can assign a format. Formats are just very, very beneficial for binning purposes. 
Okay. So within this class data set, I'm going to say the age group of 11 to 13 is youth teen and 14 to 16 is mid teen. Notice that for every new format that I put, I'm calling the value keyword. And at the end of the format, I'm putting a semicolon. Okay. So that is the syntax there. And then I want to actually print out of this this data set formatted. So I want to change those M's and I want to change the age. So then I call it in a prop print step with the format. I have dots after each one of these formats. Other than that, the name of the format is going to be the names here. So when I run this and I see my output, sex now is spelled out to male and female and age is no longer the physical age, is bent into mid-teen and youth teen. Now, you may also see a format that's like low and then high. And that's going to work exactly the same. It's going to say take the lowest value in the data set and up until this threshold, their youths, and take the highest value. And then that's going to be mid-teen there. So I can also do the same thing. And then it's still going to work, okay? So that's what that low and high means. All right, I'm gonna also put more documentation in the description about proc format, but those are two examples of how to utilize formats. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed listening all about SAS formats. Remember that we use SAS formats to change the appearance of variables. It's also beneficial if we wanna bin existing variables. You can store formats temporarily or you can store them permanently as well. You can use the format statement in both the data and procedure steps, and you can only use a put statement in a data step, okay? So thank you for tuning in with Learning with Jelly. As I said, please like, share, and subscribe to this video, and I'm going to have the supplemental documentation for this video in the description below. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.